Hey, welcome back. Today we're going to talk about a really important earn value setting. A lot of you guys are using earn value. You need to understand what these settings do. And there's a whole explanation in this about something called plan dates. But let me tell you about the setting. On the admin preferences area under earned value settings, we have this field here. It says earned value calculation. When calculating earned value from a baseline, use, and we get a drop down here with a bunch of options. Budgeted values with planned dates, budgeted values with current dates, at completion values with current dates. Okay, how do we set this thing? What does it do? Do we care? Yes, we do. We do care. This is actually an important setting that not only affects how some of the earned value calculations work, but it also even affects what shows up on our baseline. Okay, so it affects planned value and it affects what shows up on our baseline, on our baseline bars. So that's what I want to tackle right now. How should we work with this? So we're going to set this to show you a couple examples. We're going to set this to budgeted value with planned dates. What are planned dates? Well, they are fields that we can pull up in P6. So let's go ahead and grab them in the column chooser. We'll just go into dates here and I'm going to grab plan start and plan finish. And I'm going to start to kind of build a bit of a layout here for you. At the same time, since we're going to do a lot of work with baselines, we're going to pull up our baseline start and our baseline finish. And again, I'm going to kind of stagger things like this so that we can do some comparison. Okay. So yeah, we do have these columns called plan start and plan finish. We never really use them though. You know, we're used to using mostly our start and finish columns, sometimes early, late start, early, late start uh, or finish columns, but plan start, we don't really use very much. But plan start does come into effect when we are working with baselines and it can be a problem for us. In fact, it can often skew our baseline bars and the start and finish dates that we are comparing our baseline to. That's why I want to clear this up for you right now. I want to explain what happens. So what we're going to do is we're going to walk through a simple project and do a simple round of updates to see what happens. What I want to do first is I want to get my baseline bars up here on the screen. So let's go to bars and I'm just using the project baseline bars. We'll just turn those guys on and simple five line schedule. Let's go ahead and baseline it. So let's go to maintain baselines, add our baseline here. Okay. And I'm going to call this instead of B1, I'm going to call it original. But again, you understand that we do better. We would do better documentation in the real world. And we're just doing some example stuff here. Okay. So we've assigned the baseline to the schedule. Um, we're going to do that now, assign baselines, and we're going to sign it here at the project baseline. So plan dates, original baseline. Okay. So that's our setup piece. Now I want to show you how plan dates in that admin setting related to earned value can affect my baseline bars. So let's say that this project was slated to start on April 2nd, but in fact it started a whole week later. So let's do a progress, um, to set that up. So let's start this market started. But let's move it out a week to the ninth. Okay. And let's go ahead and reschedule moving our day to date ahead a week as well. And have a look at the results. So let's say in this project scenario, we actually did start a project a week later. Well, right off the bat, I'm out of disadvantage because my baseline bars don't match any for any more. So what I would probably do is I would create a new baseline to capture the new dates. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's go to project, maintain baselines, and we're going to add another one, create, just create a copy of the same one. Okay. And this time we're going to say, um, progressed. I just want to differentiate between the original and a progressed baseline. And again, I'm going to assign it to my project baseline. So something happened already and I don't know if you noticed it, but have a look at the Gantt chart. 
I created a new baseline based on my schedule that was a week later. When I create a baseline, I expect P6 to capture the dates, take a snapshot of the dates as they are and store them in the baseline. But look at the activity number one here, my A1000 activity. Why did this baseline bar not move ahead uh, to the week later, like all the other ones did? Well, this has to do with planned dates and the earned value setting that we're talking about. So what's happened is that when we're using plan dates and using this setting with plan dates, we're actually displaying planned dates on our baseline bars. Normally, we don't want to do that. We would like to have captured the actual start of that activity, so it actually started on the 9th, but instead we're displaying a planned start of April 2nd. What happened is when I clicked start on that activity, when I started to progress it, P6 actually captured the planned start date and stored it as the original date. And then it put that into the baseline and then the baseline started to, just started to show us those values. So you can see how this is a problem. And in fact, if I had a whole schedule, uh, a much longer schedule with more dates and things that didn't start on time and whatnot, you could see how my baseline bars would actually start to be really out of sync with the project. So let's come back to our earned value setting now and how we should set it. And I want to show you what happens when we change the value. So we go to admin preferences and we go back to our earned value tab and now we change this to instead of budgeted values with plan dates, let's change it to budgeted values with current dates. And in fact, I don't like the name of that current dates because what it, we're actually talking about is displaying the actual dates. Because that activity actually started a week late, I would like the baseline to represent that actual start. It's not doing that, it's displaying the plan start. So let's see the difference. So when I change this value, this setting, watch what happens. And I just need to do an F5 to refresh the screen. And there you go. Now you can see that I'm no longer displaying a baseline start date of April 2nd. I'm now displaying the baseline start date of April 9th, which is the actual start. So to kind of summarize this whole thing up, this earned value setting under admin preferences here, this earned value setting by default, it is set to plan dates. We don't want that. This will affect your baselines. It will also affect any earned value calculations that are based on those baseline dates of which there are quite a few. We do not want to be using plan dates. Plan dates do not seem to be configured properly to give us the results that we want. We need this setting to be set to current dates. What I'm saying is actual dates. Let's display the actual dates, start and finish on our baselines, and let's calculate earned value as well as our variances and whatnot from those actual dates. So I hope you learned a little something here. I hope you learned a little something about what plan dates do as well as how earned value calculations can be skewed if we don't have that setting set correctly. So make sure you double check what that admin setting is set to. Check with your administrator if you're not an administrator, get it set properly and keep learning, keep growing. I'm Michael, I'll see you in another settings video.